We're gonna start out using the Pac-Man magnets. We call these Pac-Man magnets because one has a straight slot and the other one kind of looks like a Pac-Man. This will swivel. When we put these on here, on this, the shell of the turbine, we're gonna put these with the slot facing us and about an inch, inch and a half behind the bore. Once those are mounted, we take the angle iron and Slide this into the slots in the magnets. And then we take the Allen wrench and we're gonna tighten the straight slot first. The reason this has a straight slot on a Pac-Man is this angle iron could have some twist to it. So when we tighten this, that one may not be quite parallel. So we tighten the straight slot first so the, the Pac-Man magnet will, will go to the contour of the, the angle. Okay, then we take the 502 and we mount this on the angle. So I want to measure from each side. So I'm approximately equal distance from both sides of this to the edge. We're not, we're not measuring out here and putting the target back here. Insert the rod the activator, and the tip. And then I'm gonna bring this up so I'm working the plunger about halfway. Now in here, I'm gonna turn, the, turn this on. When I'm sweeping this, I want to make sure I have always measuring the same point. So I want to mark my point. On the left side, I'm going to make this zero. When I take this to the right side, I'm going to use the, the adjusters here and I'm going to take out half of that error. take it right to zero. 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 And zero. So now I have the holder set to the to the to the bore. So I'm gonna take out the sweep unit and I'm gonna put in the T218 T. Then I'm gonna connect the 1307. Now we'll move down to the other end and we'll set up the A502L and mount the laser in there and of course adjust the laser. Now we're going to take the 502L and mount this onto the angle. And again, we're going to take a tape measure. We're going to put this tape measure centered, of course align it. So when we insert this in here, and we want this level from side to side, we want it level and tighten the thumb screw. Now I need to course align this so the beam goes into the target down there. I haven't swept it in yet because I have to course align it first. Okay, when we see the beam on the target down there, we have an adjustment on the bottom and on the top so we can tilt course align tilt this whole holder. So I'm gonna loosen one, tighten the other, 
until we're somewhere as close to the center. And then I'm gonna loosen a magnet and I'm gonna slide this, the angle of this, until the beam's going into the right side to side. Loosen one, tighten the other. So now I have numbers on the readout. I know I'm going into the target down there. So now I'm gonna take the 706 out of here, turn it off and take it out. And I'm gonna put the sweep unit in. And I'm gonna sweep this just like I did the target holder. So now I have this swept in. I'm gonna remove the sweep unit. I'm gonna reinsert. 706, turn it on. Now I'm gonna use the micrometers and I'm gonna steer until both numbers are zero. My vertical number is zero and my horizontal number is zero. Okay, now they're both zero. So now I have the laser in the center of the bore here and I have the target in the center. I have the laser steered so we're passing right through the center of the, the reference bores. Now I can set up the one bore target and I can measure the internal component. We'll start out by mounting the 1519 target onto the bracket on the little set screw here. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to measure the bores. We, we want to set the leg length according to the bores. And that's an 18 inch bore. With an 18 inch bore, we want a nine inch radius leg length. So measuring from the center of this target And screw the leg on. Put the tip on here. And now I want to adjust this out until I'm nine inches. So we're going to do the same thing on the side now. So we, now we have the target mounted. Now we're gonna mount the 1308 readout. Okay, so now I have the target set up. Before we take our measurements, we always wanna check our reference, make sure we're still at zero. So we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna rest the, the leg on the left side and we have a brace here. And on the top of the 1308, there's a button that says mode. We're gonna push that mode button. That puts us in a horizontal mode. So the target now is reading the horizontal axis. We're not actually getting numbers, we're getting lines. I wanna adjust this target up and down until I have one or two lines, maybe three lines. But the way I'm gonna adjust it up and down is just loosen the thumb, thumb screw and, and slide it in and out until I have one or two lines. I sweep it in and out. When I come back here, I've got two lines on the right side. I'm sweeping it back to the front. I got zero. Now I have two lines on the left side. So I know I'm really close to being in the center of the target horizontally. I'm gonna push the mode button again. That's gonna put me into the vertical mode. Now here I'm reading minus 313. So I'm gonna adjust this out this leg out until I'm a little closer to zero. I don't like to be 300 thousandths off, but so now I'm at minus 30, 32. I'm gonna sweep this in and out until I get my most plus number. So now I'm reading minus 29, minus 30, minus 32. So I'm gonna sweep it back, minus 29, minus 32. So minus 29 is my highest positive number. So I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna zero that readout. So now I have zeroed it. Now I'm gonna just swing this right around 180 degrees. So I'm on the other side. And now I'm gonna turn the target so it faces. And I'm gonna sweep this in and out until I get my most plus number again. 132, 130, so 133 plus 133 is my most positive number. So we need to remember that and rate that down. 
my plus 133. Now I'm gonna stand it up and do the same thing. I'm gonna sweep this in and out until I get my most plus number. Now I'm at 37, 36, 35. So plus 37 is my most plus number. So now let's do the math on that. So I have a half a bore. I zeroed on the left side. On the right side, I had plus 133 thousandths, and on the bottom, I had plus 37 thousandths. So the way we calculate how far off that bore is, is we want to find if I made all of these zero. I'm just saying, actually, I'm gonna take half of that, which would be uh, plus 66 and a half, or 67 thousandths. So, that means that bore is 66 and a half thousandths too far this way. It needs to go that way. And because if, if I centered it up, I, I should see minus 66 and a half all the way around. So that's showing this is twenty nine and a half thousandths. It's low. It needs to go up twenty nine and a half thousandths. That pretty much concludes how you would measure the internal components of the turbine, how you set everything up and take the readings.